one of the fastest ways to create what we want is to merge our heart and our soul's desires with our human's desires. And I believe this is one of the greatest opportunities and challenges that we face in this human experience is this soul we all know having a human experience, but how do we actually know the messages of the soul to live out the messages of the soul to live out the desires and what this soul came here to live out because all of our souls came here for a specific and divinely orchestrated mission you came into this body to accomplish something to do something to live out something to remember something and when we get so caught up in the human the human distractions and shiny objects and things that we are sold that we think we should want, we can lose track of the soul's path, of the soul's desires. And today I want to illuminate something that I believe will forever change your life when we learn to really harness this and remember this. And here's the thing, this takes time patience and a continual coming back to because truly the truth is is that there are a lot of distractions out there there are a lot of things that are asking for our attention and pulling us away from our desires and our truth and when we're not living in alignment with our truth we get off path and we're only delaying our soul's path. And I truly believe that what is meant for you, you can't miss. However, it may take longer and it may take another lifetime. It may take several incarnations. And so this is really designed to get you on this path. And this is why I talk about so often your truth, really discovering and uncovering your truth. So this morning, I go out, as I do every morning, I go for my morning walk, do my my connecting, and part of my morning walk is to ground, place my feet upon the earth. And every time I do this, instantly, I receive a message from the earth. And today her message for me was to solidify your truth solidify your truth and this is such a beautiful invitation for us all because when we are solid in our truth we are no longer swayed we are no longer hypnotized by all of the things out there when we're living our soul's desires it's funny because here's the thing our human thinks we think. <laughs> we think we want these things. We think we want all these material things. And having material things is not bad. There is no, there should be no guilt, shame, anything for this to have and want and desire these. However, if they're merely from the energy of wanting to keep up with, to be because we perceive that they will bring us joy and happiness, they will never actually fulfill you and bring you joy and happiness. But when the soul desires to remember its power, let's say your soul came here to remember your power, which I believe that's part of all of our soul's mission to remember our power, because the truth is you are a powerful being, you are you have the source of source within you, which is what my guide shared with me recently. And I just, oh my gosh, I just keep coming back to that. The source of source is within all of us. And so if you come here and remember your power, having whatever you want is a reminder of that. It's no longer to compare yourself externally and need it to validate or have it be a perceived metric of happiness but rather it's a remembrance that i have the source of source within me and i can create do be have anything i want so this is a very different place of wanting creating receiving 
And so here's the thing that's very interesting is that our human desires alone will not fulfill the soul, but the heart and soul's desires will always fulfill the human, will always fulfill us, will always fulfill what we are moving towards and working towards and moving towards in our lives. And so if you're finding like you've been spinning your wheels or trying to figure out what your purpose is, your thing is. This is why so many of these channel messages that I bring through are about your truth. Your truth. Not Sally, Joe, <laughs> and the collective's truth. Your truth. And so I really encourage you to... I can't really actually think of many of these channel messages that don't talk about <laughs> how to remember your truth. But I highly recommend you go back and listen and receive. Open your heart and receive them. And another thing that stands in the way from us really seeing, knowing our truth is blocks in our field, blocks in the body, physical, mental, emotional. And this is where deeper work is really going to support you doing a session with myself or someone else that really helps you see these blind spots because they're called blind spots for a reason. We're not supposed to see them. But when we can have someone tune in and help us release them from the body, we're no longer, we're no longer attracting things that aren't in resonance with our soul's and heart's desires, right? And so something that I often see when I tune into people's energy is their field just has so much chaos and noise and this i feel like this is a very present day uh experience i don't even want to call it a problem because it's an opportunity it's we came into this time in existence for a reason but when i tune into people's fields and there's so much chaos and noise and and whatnot of course you're not going to hear your truth of course you're not going to hear your guidance and this is why it can be really challenging for people to just sit down and meditate or to go off into nature with no earplugs in their ears and and to not spend hours on social media and to not have this stillness and silence because when they're in that stillness and silence, all of the things and repressed traumas and stuff start to bubble up. And so while all of the external noises, is it, it suppresses that. So when we can... First of all, begin to release the chaos and noise in the field and then get a bit deeper. Bring up to the surface any of these traumas and beliefs that just aren't serving us. Release those too. And now you become a pure, clear vessel to tune into your truth to tune in to God, source, divine in the body because your body is your greatest, your greatest tool in this lifetime for connecting with divine, for connecting with God, for knowing and accessing your intuition, for leading from the heart, for trusting your soul's unique path. It's really just, it's so much less about learning and doing and gaining and so much more about letting go and releasing anything that isn't in alignment and and if you saw one of my recent episodes it's not just about release release let go go away it's about tuning into and becoming the alchemist of the divine energy within you weaving that and merging that with your heart and your soul so that as you move forward you trust and know that every single step you take is in alignment with your soul, with your truth, with your path, with your knowing. And we all have this knowing. Sometimes we forget. I do too. But we can always come back to it. And the more that we come back to it, the deeper, the deeper ingrained it becomes in who we are and who we be and who we emanate. 
and who we know ourselves to be, the more it becomes our identity. And so when we fall away, it's so much easier to come back and we fall away much less often. But if you have fallen away, don't be hard on yourself. It happens to the best of us. And if you're not falling away, I would be very shocked. I would say you're probably not living fully. <laughs> but we we learn in our in our forgetting and every time we forget, we remember even deeper. And so if you have not accessed your truth and your truth is where is the portal to your soul and heart's desires and if you don't feel like you are living this, this is where working with someone, like I said, like myself or someone else, links are below to do a session. This is where we quantum leap you into that experience of living your soul's desires. Because this will always satisfy the human. The human's desires will not always satisfy the soul's desires, but your soul's desires will always be so deeply and richly fulfilling to your human. Always. And so with that, I am sending you all infinite love and light.